Hey, what is up guys? So today I want to showcase off the Wind Witches facing off against uh, some ABC as well as a variety of different decks because I and a lot of other people think that this is going to be potentially one of the best decks in the game. Now right now ABC without a doubt is the strongest deck, no questions about that, but you know with that ban list coming around, we don't know when it's coming around the TCG, it could be tomorrow, you know how Konami is sometimes, you know the uh, Perform H, Perform Pal deck, that deck got wrecked in two weeks so uh, rip tomorrow ABC right, but uh, hopefully they will or won't hit it soon depending on uh, you know uh, if you have the deck or not, but uh, nonetheless. Wind Witches are super strong, and you guys will see them in this replay. A lot of people right now are main decking anti-spell fragrance because this card is out of control. Let's let's be honest here. Union Hanger is definitely way, way, way overpowered. It searches a card, lets you equip, and then when you ABC on their turn, you get to equip again. That is the card that really, really helps them. And a lot of people have been main decking anti-spell fragrance uh, to deal with that. Even in ABC, they even main deck a uh, the uh, card anti-spell fragrance to deal with a mirror match and you'll see that they have a lot of great stuff but the thing is is wind witches again are so resilient and so consistent at throwing out that crystal wing synchro dragon as you guys will see throughout a bunch of these replays that i'm going to be sharing with you guys today but uh yeah it's just a really strong deck simply because it has an ability to go for a secondary play if one play doesn't work out. Like if your ABC Dragon gets, you know, warninged or it gets negated, a lot of times the deck falls apart really fast. Uh, sometimes they'll have another play with a Gadget or the Galaxy Soldier, but majority of the times, if your first ABC Dragon goes away early on in the game, you don't really have that high of a chance to win against another strong deck. Like over here, you can see Clear Wing Fast Dragon negates the effect, makes them have zero attack, and then you're able to run it over. And on top of that, with the ABC there, uh, because it's going to be a level 5 or higher, you get to uh, gain attack equal to the current attack. Uh, even though it's going to be zero, so it doesn't really matter too much, but uh, nonetheless, if it still has that a massive amount of attack, and you are negating its effect, then uh, yeah, you'll be good to go. Or heck, you can uh, chalice it so you can, you know, negate its effect. Uh, that is, if they don't activate its effect to grab the three other monsters, uh, you'll gain a lot of attack. So I want to say it almost has kind of a good matchup uh, against it. And you guys, like I said, will see in a lot of these different replays how strong the uh, deck is. Now, uh, I'm going to showcase off a deck profile after this so you guys can see, uh, you know, how consistent the deck is. And again... It all comes down to being able to go for a secondary play. You see the Ghost Ogre negating uh, the first initial play, but you guys will see the deck just pumps out Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. And that's basically what makes the deck so good, is because you're able to throw up a monster that can negate uh, pretty much most decks. Um, one reason why the ABC Dragon is so powerful is it usually throws up a Cyber Dragon Infinity plus the ABC Dragon. When you have that in combination, a double negation, you basically can win against most decks. That is the same playstyle and the same mechanic that the Winter Witches with the Speed Droids can do because they're able to bust out Crystal Wing and Clear Wing, and if they really want to, they can double up on the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Granted, he did get negated, but you can still see he made a decent field. Now, this duel over here is going to be against an Exodia player. It doesn't really matter. It's irrelevant what the other guy is playing, because just watch basically what you can do turn one. It's just really unfair, and it, it's just the same playstyle as ABC at the end of the day. It's double monsters uh, that just have double negations. And once when you have two monsters that have big negations, it's really fun. Plus, Crystal Wing has that effect of anything, you know, is level 5 or higher that's attacking it, you're pretty much going to win the uh, uh, damage uh, over there because it's going to gain that attack. So you can see over here, look at this turn 1! Look at this turn 1! And on top of that, you got speed recovery still. It's just crazy. Look at that. Double Crystal Wing, double Clear Wing. So that's double negations from the extra deck and double just monster effect negations. Again, a lot of decks just can't deal with this. And I know there was Soul Charge in there, but nonetheless, like, you're able to throw out, like, two, two monsters. Again, that's the same idea that ABC has when you combo with the Infinity. But uh, you guys will see that this deck uh, is going to be very powerful. And again, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, we don't know when we're going to get that ban list in the TCG. So uh, tomorrow, ABCs could be ripping pepperoni. I don't know. Uh, because, uh, you know, before we had, again, the monkey board, and that lasted, what, two weeks before uh, that adjusted ban list came out. So, uh, I really feel like this could be a deck that you guys might want to invest into. Pick up some speed red cards now before they go up in price, perhaps. You know, save yourself a couple dollars here and there. It's always good, right? Uh, that is if you play in real life. I know a lot of people just been playing online now. 
rip, rip, rip the, uh, I remember doing that, we used to get like 10k, we had like 9k, then it was like 5k pretty steadily for a while, but on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro right now, um, there's about a thousand players-ish um, on like a really good day, but if you go to the games, there's like eh, 30 people about hosting the game, and out of those like 30 people, I want to say like at least half of them right now are playing ABCs, and what makes this so strong over here, it says indies by effect, but what it means is it's indestructible by effect. So a lot of these different decks, guys, they're going to use effects to destroy the uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. But as you guys can see in a lot of these different replays, uh, they have immunity. One of them does grant them immunity. Um, is it... Uh, there we go. It's Wind Witch Snow Bell. Uh, so the Synchro Monster can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So at that point, um, yeah, it's pretty good to have a Crystal Wing that can't be destroyed. <laughs> Like, uh, a lot of decks just fold at that point. So, again, I want to say ABC is still a strong deck, don't get me wrong, but I still think that this has a lot of potential to be the best. It's like the next best deck, easily, because, again, not only does the deck have potential to be hit, uh, but it's also indestructible. So, like, you have a very, very strong monster, and again, it's the same idea. Getting out two monsters that each can negate something. And uh, that's the most powerful play. Like I said, a lot of the plays in ABC turn one are A core, equip B. And, and, and when you make these plays, you just kind of lose. Like, it's very difficult for you to come back uh, from another meta deck when that's your strongest play. Granted, if you had, you know, Solemn Strike, that's a pretty good card, right? But, uh, you know, Solemn Strike is able to negate. But again, the Wind Witches are relatively resilient over here. You know, he did get Max Seed, so he's like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop Special Summoning over there. I don't want to give my opponent too many draws. So we see Gear Gigant X over here, gonna go ahead and search out the machine, and then the ABC. You're looking at this field thinking, there's no way, there's no way this guy could possibly win. Uh, under Maxi and Anti-Spell Fragrance, how are you gonna come back playing Winter Witches? You know, the Wind Witches, uh, they're looking again like really good. We see the Quaking Mirror Force, we see the Vandys. I feel like Quaking Mirror Force is a little bit too slow to play at ABC, but Anti-Spell Fragrance, like I mentioned before guys, a lot of people are just main decking this card right now. I feel like that card just needs to go away. Like it, it's not a fun card to deal with. You ever play Pendulum? And someone flips that up. You just you can't you can't play. <laughs> like it's just game over straight up. But um, I'll give you guys a deck profile so you guys can mess around with this. Look, the guy even has the Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. You call you call Crystal Wing. This deck will probably lose. Let's be honest here. But uh, you know, look at this. Look look at the, how many cards he has. Crystal Wing Seeker. We're gonna go ahead and negate that effect. He's just gonna go ahead and uh, just set a bunch of stuff because he already used his normal summon. Uh, Quaking Mirror Force activated, flip that card face down. Double Yo-Yo over here, he's gonna go ahead and activate that effect. And his opponent's gonna quit because the uh, Wind Witches, if you guys didn't know, uh, it was showcased off in one of the earlier plays, but you can burn your opponent for 1400 for literally for no reason. So at that point, the guy's gotta say GG because uh, yeah, he only has 600 life points. But uh, yeah, I know a lot of you guys want the deck profiles to mess around with. Have some fun with the deck, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you guys. So here is the Wind Witches, and um, this is the one uh, Winter Bell that actually uh, burns your opponent for literally no reason. Uh, but anyways, let's go jump into the deck profile. There are a few new cards, so uh, if you're playing this on uh, certain applications, you might not have it. Whether it's, I don't know what exact application everyone uses, but on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro it is out. On Dev Pro, I believe they did add them recently, but. Uh, Lewis, let's go into the deck profile. So first off, we have three copies of Wind Witch Glass Bell. We have two copies of Speedrite Double Yo-Yo. Two copies of Speedrite Bamboo Horse. Three copies of Speedrite Terra Top. Three copies of Wind Witch Ice Bell. Three copies of Tech and Torn Board. Three copies of Speedrite Red Eyed Dice. Uh, three copies of Wind Witch Snow Bell, which gives you that immunity. And then we have one copy of One for One. And then we have two copies of Magic Specter Storm. I don't think we saw too many of these. They're pretty much not that necessary for the deck to run properly. The, the core of the deck is just pump out Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Just get two of these out, uh, or one of these, and you can, again, you can make the other um, clearing, the, the other one. Uh, I think it's Clear Wing uh, Fast Dragon. This is, another, this is one of those newer cards. If you guys want to add this in, feel free to go ahead and add it in. It's definitely not a bad choice by any means. Uh, but uh, that's another one of those newer cards. Uh, but uh, Magic Specter Storm overall, 
it's a great card just because it allows you to go for other plays uh, that you normally wouldn't have because there's a card that says you can't Yu-Gi-Oh! So you can use this to have access to it. Uh, one day a piece is pretty good. Again, the, the whole concept of the deck is to be able to d dump out two monsters with negations and who cares if your opponent draws an extra card. You're going to negate it anyways. Uh, this one played two Pot of Cupidities. You can mix and match other different things. Um, then we have the Mind Control, Soul Charge. Uh, upstart, Speed, Recovery, two copies of Night Beam, although I think Twin Twister is just overall better, especially against the ABC decks, because negating Union Hanger can sometimes just win you the game. Uh, and then we have Magic Spectre Cyclone, we have Magic Spectre Tempest, and two Psalm Strikes, and one Warning. Now, I usually advise you guys to play three Strike over Warning, simply because if the monster is already on board, Strike gives you more value. Uh, it also technically does cost less. It's also uh, a more of an expensive card in real life, but I meant cost less as in it costs 1,500 life points rather than 2,000. But, uh, I mean, we can go and uh, go into the replay real quick, and you guys can see, like, some of the cards in this other build. So let me go and swap it real quick. Let me pause it. So there are other cards you guys can play. Uh, one of the cards is Following. So it's activate this card by targeting level or targeting one secret monster you control. It can't be destroyed battle by opponent's card effects. At that point, you got a Crystal Wing again that has that immunity effect, kind of like how uh, Snow Bell has. But then it also has another effect. So at the start of damage step, if that monster battles a level five or higher monster, you can destroy the opponent's monster. If you do, your battling monster gains attack equal to the destroyed monster's original attack until the end of this turn. If that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. So this is just kind of like a win harder card. I don't think it's necessary but you can open up the door to like some crazy one shots you know one punch man would be proud um, as far as like any other cards I really recommend you guys to play uh, in this format I really feel like chalice is really good I know I say that like a lot in a lot of formats but it, it's again pretty good you guys can see that some of the top decks that I've covered that do uh, a lot better against ABC they're main decking chalice or I guess they would have a hard time normally they do much better when they add chalice simply because a, a Cyber Dragon Infinity is still Cyber Dragon Infinity, and it can be a threat. Chalice is just overall a really great card, because Crystal Wing, like, a lot of times when you throw out, like, a Crystal Wing or one of those Clear Wing cards when it's, like, negate from uh, the extra deck and it makes it have zero attack, when you have, like, one of each or double of either, they, they have to use, like, four cards to deal with, like, two of those. And then, like, if they even have another play, you negate that with Chalice and you just seal the deal on the game. You don't really need uh, the uh, traps, uh, like the warnings. Like, the Chalice will give you more value than some of these because if you're going second uh, or your opponent happens to have, um, you know, a monster, you need to deal with it immediately rather than wait one turn, negate the Cyber Dragon Infinity as a fact when it's going for its effect. You can just lose if you don't play Chalice. And that's where it's uh, going with Yu-Gi-Oh! A lot of these decks turn one, they're just really, really powerful. And again, I feel like this can be one of the best decks, especially if ABC gets hit and if we get more like wind witch support i feel like it can potentially be one of the next best decks in the game but anyways thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the vid make sure you guys give a like button a titty slap and i am signing out